What's going on, everyone? It's time for a comedy film review. Today, we're going to talk about Black Knight. It was released by November 21st, 2001. Instructed by Gil Unger, who did films like 10 Things I Hate About You, If Only, Thanksgiving Day, and Beauty and the Briefcase. It's had a budget of $39.9 million. And uh, yeah, it was, uh, I think, a flop when it came out. It stars Martin Lawrence, and it is about a I working at a theme park, a medieval style theme park, down on his luck and stuff, and he finds this medallion and it transports him back in time to where uh, the medieval ages. So he has to work with the, uh, he has to, he tries to balance out um, being in the medieval ages while um, trying to help him fight off their enemies. It's not the concept of this film is actually really cool. <laughs> has a unique concept and stuff. In the first half, the jokes are actually pretty amusing and impressive. That It's pretty fun. It's not over the top or anything. It is pretty well done. And uh, overall, the whole like visual style of the film and stuff looks pretty good, too. It has your typical comedy look, but with like the, the medieval flair and stuff in there. It definitely has it all um, pieced together pretty well. Um, some of the jokes, like, it kind of gets more serious halfway through, and uh, they try to push uh, some jokes in there, which kind of don't work too well. And then uh, the ending climax ends up being pretty predictable, if you can see it coming, And then, um, but it's still an amusing watch. Black Knight is an amusing film, but overall, I still think the writing needed a lot of work. Now, the acting is actually pretty good in it. The cinematography looks pretty good, and the music is pretty amusing <laughs> to be in it, going back to the old 1990s style and things. And, uh, yeah, it's definitely one you wouldn't really see come out these days. So, yeah, it was a cool little uh, comedy uh might not work with some people these days, but who knows? But it was cool to watch it again. So, yeah, I'm going to give Black Knight a two and a half out of five. It's all right, but it's still a good little popcorn flick. So, yeah, if you want to check it out, I'm not sure where it's streaming or anything, but I'll link the trailer down below, like always. Also, make sure you check out my Instagram and throw post clips of films and review in the future on my story. As you have the film time, hashtag sub John film and the hashtag so you're aware of it. Also, my letterbox down below, take your reviews. That's where I post my first star rating. I have to watch the films. And my Twitch down below, below at Reason Square Derek. So, follow me on those platforms. Stay loop this channel. Like this video, share some more people wherever. Comment your opinions of the film down below if you have any. If you have any films or film franchises in any genre and on any streaming service, I don't hear my opinions on the future. Comment those down below too. I'll try my best to get them as soon as I can and if I can find them. <sighs> Make sure you subscribe. Hope you want some weird, obscure, and odd. They probably never thought checking out too. Together and also so here my pens on popular films if not classic films and reviews of other things as well and don't forget to ring the bell as well we're going to talk about a horror film uh where i did the sequel a while back and it's finally time to talk about it and that's train to busan so make sure you tune in for that watch out for all those medallions transporting us back to the middle ages and i guess i'll see you all in the next review so until then cheers